Hey, so I want to talk a bit about the issue of diversity in acting. This partly relates to the video I made on the Oscars controversy. Um, because we're having our own sort of mini controversy developing here in the UK. About the issue of diversity in acting. Um, I am sort of making this in light of an article I've just read from the BBC and a quick thing I need to explain, I unfortunately can't read articles directly the way I used to be able to because my whole screen is taken up with the webcam shot so all I can do is put a link to this article afterwards. Um, so if I, if I say anything that's inaccurate that's not deliberate, it's simply because I can't read it off the website directly. But basically, in this article, Katie Lung, um, who is a Scottish actress of Chinese ancestry, was saying, she was sort of complaining that she's never had a role that isn't China-centric. Um, so what she was saying in this interview or this article was that there is a problem for East Asian actors in the UK about being typecast. Now, a few things I want to say. Everything I'm saying in this video is intended to be um, reflections on the positions of the people I'm talking about, not a personal attack against them. Um, I want to make that very clear. It's just about the positions. It's not a personal attack because actually um, I, I'm not that familiar with Katie Long, but uh, to give another example, Gemma Chan has also made similar or raised similar issues. Again, um, I, I want to make it clear that it, for me, this is not, you know, a personal attack issue. I, I don't entirely see where they're coming from. Um, I'll discuss that in a second. But for example, um, I've seen a lot of Gemma Chan interviews and she's always come across as a very likable person. Um, you know, she comes across as intelligent, as, as um, a very decent person. So my sort of analysis of their positions is not intended as a personal attack. So I want to be really clear about that. Some of my videos that is the case, but not, not with this one. Um, but I, I do want to analyze this a little bit because actually the reason I'm personally interested is I, I'm writing a novel at the moment. And one of the leads in my novel is a British Chinese woman, young woman. Um, but then the thing about my character in the novel is her Chinese ancestry has pretty much zero to do with her character development. So this does interest me because if my novel is ever adapted into onto the screen, it kind of makes me wonder, well, you know, am I going to be dragged directly into this debate? Because people will say, oh, Nathan, here's that is stereotyping. Chinese character, which I'm not doing. Um, I'm, I'm serious about that because I'm very ambitious about this project. And if it ever, ever does get put on the screen, that may well be an issue I have to address. Um, actually, uh, interestingly enough, Katie Lung was someone I had imagined in the character role. If I was ever thinking of an actor to play that role, she would be someone that would keep in mind. I think she's a good actress. And... Um, Anyway, I I uh, done a little bit. I looked into a little bit of background about her film and photography, and fair enough, it seems to be that a lot of her roles are China centric. Now, her complaint seems to be that if you're of Chinese background, and this is specifically around the Chinese thing, but I guess similar arguments arise for black actors and um, South Asian actors and so on. Um, that you're going to be typecast in a Chinese role. Now, my first question is, what would be deemed to be a Chinese role, exactly? Um, would it be a Chinese refugee, a Chinese migrant worker, a restaurant worker? I mean, what what is deemed to be a stereotypical Chinese role anyway? Um, I, I am a passionate believer in providing opportunity for people, but I have to say that when I hear actors, actresses, whether they be um, from any background, whether they be Asian, um, East Asian, South Asian, Black, White, Native American, whatever. I, I have to be honest, I, I can't find myself having a great deal of sympathy 
with people who I consider are pretty privileged. I mean, if you're working in film or TV, even if they're secondary roles, you're going to be paid quite a lot of money. And the truth is, that is a more priv- privileged position than many people who are struggling to get by in dead end jobs, struggling to get a job, or worse. So I, I just can't find myself feeling a great deal of sympathy for actors complaining about their lot. I also think it comes across as a bit ungrateful to directors who have cast them in a particular role. I mean, in the end of the day, they're giving them work. So it comes across as ungrateful for getting those roles. I mean, if you're complaining about being typecast, then don't take the role. I'm sure there'd be other people who are willing to take it. Um, Having said that, I, I'm open-minded enough to respect the point of view that they may have some legitimate grievances. There may well be a situation. I mean, she said she wants a role closer to home. Um, and I guess that's a reference to the fact that her latest performance is about a Chinese girl tracing her background in Guangzhou. It's all connected to one child policy. Apparently that show has got critical acclaim, so I might check it out sometime. But I, I don't really see... I mean, for example, the role of Cho Chang in the Harry Potter series, although she is written as a Chinese character, I would argue it's not a China-centric character. She's Harry Potter's love interest. You know, there's nothing about the role, certainly in the films, that is very China-centric. You know, it's not as if she gets out Chinese medicine and speaks in a Chinese accent. So I'm not really sure what Katie Lung is complaining about. You know, she's, she's well off. She's famous. What's she complaining about? Um, I mean, the truth is, there's white actors who don't always get the roles that they want. There's white actors who don't always get, uh, who will work their whole lives. And they'll have, in some cases, dozens and dozens of film credits, but they'll never get a lead role. One example that comes to mind is Bill Patterson. He's a Scottish actor. He, he's white. Now, he's had a lot of secondary roles in the film Amazing Grace, in The Witches, in Four Weddings and a Funeral, those are just some examples. He, as far as I know, has never had a lead role, certainly not in a big production. So, you know, this notion that only ethnic minority actors don't get the roles they want, I don't think that's entirely accurate. I think what is a bigger issue in the acting world is probably looks. So a handsome actor or a beautiful actress is probably going to get more opportunities than someone who's, uh, without wanting to sound cruel about it, who's plain looking. I think that's probably a bigger issue than ethnicity. Um, But there is another factor. I mean, you have to understand that if a director has a role that is a Chinese character, then you can hardly blame a director for scouting actors who are of Chinese descent. Because he or she is obviously not going to look for a white or black actor to play that role. Um, I understand in the case of fiction, there's scope for more flexibility. But in historical roles, I do believe in reality. I mean, you simply cannot have a black or Chinese actress playing, for example, Queen Elizabeth I. You just can't. Because it's just not believable. Um, likewise, you couldn't have a white or black actress playing Empress Dowager Sushi. You know, it's so I think realism also comes into it. Um, I mean, to be fair here, I'm not an actor, I'm not involved in the acting industry, so I appreciate that these people know a lot more than I do. But I guess I'm coming from the perspective that I see them as people who have a pretty privileged life and they're complaining about it. I mean, it's uh, I've seen similar things from white actors and I have the same view that what you're complaining about. You know, I know they work hard. I know they work long hours with rehearsals. But being an actor, if you are in film or TV, it's a pretty privileged place to be. You know, it's a lot more privileged than a lot of people are in. You know, you could be working in a nine to five job that's uh, really tedious and really, you know, I think I just don't can't find myself getting a lot of sympathy with actors complaining about their lot. Um, And again, it's not a personal attack, because I know many actors do 
a lot of charity work and they're decent people. It's it's not about that. It's just about the position that they're taking. Um, if I was a successful actor, even if I, okay, I'm Northern Irish. I've got Northern Irish accent. Now, if I was always typecast into Celtic roles, would I be a bit irritated? Maybe, yeah. But at the same time, I would recognise, well, I'm getting paid for this. You know, I'm, I'm in a better position than many people are. I do think that there should be opportunities. I think that, you know, there should be opportunities for Chinese actors to play roles that aren't China-centric. Fair enough. But in both ca- in the case of Gemma Chan, again, and, you know, I like Gemma. Um, I don't know her personally, obviously, but she comes across as a nice person. But again, she was making similar complaints. And I'm thinking, well, wait a second. You've done very varied roles. You were in Humans, the Channel 4 series, where you were you know, a humanoid, a um, synthetic human. Now, how is that China-centric? You were a dominatrix with Billy Piper. How is that China-centric? So I look at the roles. Um, granted, some of them are typecast, but, you know, if you're a good actor, I, I don't think that, you know, it, I've looked at the roles and I don't think it's quite accurate to say that they're all stereotypical Chinese roles. I just don't see that. In fact, a lot of people commenting on that in the case of Katie Long said, well, they didn't even think of her as a Chinese character because she is this issue. But to be fair, she did say that um, after the kissing scene in High Potter, there was a website that was pretty vicious by the sounds of it, and it came out with a lot of racist profanities about her kissing Harry Potter. Now, if that's true, that's disgraceful. And she'd be right to be upset about that. But, um, you know, when you're complaining about being stereotyped, what, what exactly is a Chinese stereotype anyway? Because she hasn't, certainly from the point of view of the interview, she hasn't really addressed that. I mean, to be honest, if I was a director and I cast people in my film and then I found out that they were speaking in a newspaper complaining about racism. I mean, she actually said casual racism in the industry. That's that's a pretty loaded accusation. Um, if I was a director, I, I kind of feel like backstabbing. Because I'd be thinking, wait a second, I've, I've given you an opportunity here. I've cast you. And you're turning around and calling, essentially calling me a racist. So I think that you know, um, you have to just accept that if you, you know, acting is all about performance and it's also about whether people like it or not, it is about the visceral side of things. So if you look like you have East Asian heritage, you're going to be cast into East Asian roles as well. And, you know, someone has to do those roles. Just like well, in the case of white actors, if you're a fat male white actor, the chances are you're going to be typecast as well. If you are someone who has a certain look in your eye, you're going to be cast as a villain a lot. So I disagree that it's always about ethnicity. I just don't agree with that. Because you get examples of white actors who are always typecast in a certain role. I'll give another example. Robert Carlyle, he's a great actor. Um. Actually, come to think about it, I've never seen him in a lead role. He's a well-known actor and he's been in many roles. I guess a full Monty, but then that was, you know, shared with other lead roles. Um, but, you know, he's never, he's always played gritty characters. He's always played terrorists or villains or psychopaths. He's never really played a down-to-earth character, except maybe in the full Monty. But he's always played gritty, working-class characters. So he's typecast in that sense. Um, so, you know, people are, I think within the acting industry, the whole point about acting is directors need to look for certain people to fulfill certain roles. So I get a little bit tired of actors always complaining that it's about their demographic because I don't think it is. And I'm saying that as someone who fair enough doesn't understand the industry as well as they probably do. But I'm a lover of film and I, you know, um, anyway, I'm, I'm going to stop waffling on here. Um, if Katie Long or Gemma Chan ever come across this video, 
I want to make it clear if if they're watching this, this is not a personal attack, as I respect you both as actresses. Um, I think you're both very talented and uh, I wish you all the best, but I just don't... I think that some of the traction of your argument is is just not really consistent with with the facts, to be honest. And that's something I'd be willing to discuss or debate. I mean, certainly in the case of my novel, I'm not writing my character as a Chinese character. Obviously, my initial description of her is she's British Chinese, but it's like three sentences. And, you know, the rest of the novel is nothing to do with that. But th there's another point to this. On one hand, if people are complaining about so-called racism in the acting business, but, you know, you're complaining about not getting opportunities. But then, you know, when you do get opportunities, you complain that it's stereotyped. So, again, it's kind of like, well, wait a second, what exactly do you want? I mean, my question to Katie Long, with all due respect to her, is what what role exactly do you want? I mean, you say a role closer to home. Okay, so British Chinese. Well, Cho Chung in the Harry Potter series is British Chinese. She's not Chinese Chinese. She's British Chinese. And in the Harry Potter series, she had her full Glaswegian accent. So that was closer to home. And that's a role that she found a lot of success and I imagine a lot of money from. Let me know your thoughts.